Greetings, my queen. Greetings. Sit. Thank you, my queen. Someday I pray I will no longer cry. Mm. Why are you still in your uniform? Why haven't you changed? My queen, I am... Oh, oh. I know you are still overwhelmed with the happenings in the palace. It's normal. Jesus, I've always loved you. And I know you are aware of it. Because you're a very intelligent, amazing girl. Beautiful in and out. I've always seen you as a daughter I never had. Thank you so much, my queen. I feel so honored and loved. Thank you. You're welcome. I. You see, because of your mother's diligent services in this palace, your late mother, which you are aware of, she was an amazing person as well. That was why we asked to bring you here to stay with us after your father's death. And all this while, your stay here has been nothing short of wonderful. You've been wonderful in every aspect of it. I sincerely do not know what to say, my queen. Say nothing. Thank you, my queen. Say nothing. I know you'll be surprised with our show of love. It's no gimmick. It's a real thing. This may shock you as well. I once asked the king to adopt you to be our legally adopted daughter because we love you so much. That is why my heart broke because of what my son did to you, Prince Leonard. I am so sorry. But if you ask me, I will tell you, fate played a part as well. It's OK. I know it will feel strange, <laughs> but I feel your pain. I know what you're going through. I understand perfectly. It's OK. My queen. It's the worst experience I've ever had in my life. I wish it never happened. I wish. I'm sorry. So sorry. <laughs> that is why I want you to enjoy the every minute of the moment. I want you to live your life like the princess. If that will be your decision, I will love it so much. It's okay. Thank you. Don't cry. Thank you, my queen. <laughs> Thank Enjoy you. your drink. Now tell me, what does you want me? How do you want us to live here? Because you're not part of us. Don't cry. Thank you. May God bless you for me. You've always shown me undiluted love. Thank you, ma. You're welcome. Long live my queen. I said long live my mother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So you still remember those things? Of course I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gave me a run for my money. But uh, you were too uptight. <laughs> and that's practically endeared me to you. That is true. So can I ask you a question? Of course you can. You have my audience. Thank you. Why do you insist Leonard must marry Chisum? That is the right thing to do. He cannot put her in the family way the way he did and abandon her. Besides, the baby she is carrying in her stomach has royal blood. I know what that means. But if I may ask, why do I see worry in your face? 
I thought you liked her. That's exactly why I'm worried. I like her a lot. That girl is too beautiful and intelligent to be someone's punishment. Even though I had always wanted her to be part of the royal family, but not like this. That was why when you declined adopting her, I secretly hoped that one of the twins will see her as a wife material, especially Frederick. Even though I didn't talk them into it, I wanted it to come naturally. But I'll be happy if she gets married to Leonard. But not as a punishment. I want it to come naturally. They fall in love. They love each other and they get married. But not this. Not punishment. Far from it, my queen. Admittedly, it looks like punishment. But it goes beyond that. I mean, Chisom is every man's dream for a wife. And I believe that her calm nature and intelligence will have positive influence on Leonard. I think what we should concern ourselves with right now is what her decision would be. Because I will not go back on my earlier pronouncement. I just wish you would make the best decision. Thank you so much. But if I may ask, why did you say your son would be any man's dream wife? You mean you heard that? Of course I heard that. <laughs> This is 11 days since father said he will hand me over to the police if Chisum didn't ask him not to after two weeks. And am I supposed to stoop so low as to ask a common maid for forgiveness? That's impossible. But how could father give such powers to a maid over his son this man never loved me for once and he will certainly carry out his threat at the expiration of the two weeks ultimatum. I can't afford to have my name published in the National Daily's newspaper as a rapist. God forbid. I know this is hard, but I have to find a way to talk to that idiot. Rubbish. My prince, so this is all you have to say to me. And what else would you want me to say to you? Why would you allow yourself to get pregnant? Are you that daft? I'm sorry. I have something to do. And you now have the guards to walk out on me? Well, I see my father has added so much feathers to your wings and now you think you can fly higher than the eagle. Huh? Many birds can fly higher than the eagle if not for a weak and scanty feathers afforded to them by nature. Oh! Now I see the reason for the sudden surge of guards. But I tell you, so much feather will hinder the flight of so many birds. Go and ask the ostrich how high it can fly. My prince, the ostrich loves the beautiful side of life. It gathers its feathers for beautification. But I bet you all birds are not like the ostrich. I promise you, one day, one day, I will clip your feathers. But for now, go and tell my father to, to jail with you for taking advantage of my innocence. Simply because I'm a mess servant and a woman? You wouldn't dare. Really? My prince, tell me, what exactly are you scared of? <laughs> All of a sudden, 
The lion is scared of the prey it once feasted on, right? Excuse me, my friends. I don't blame you. I blame my father for this. A good man he is. A reputable, honorable king he is. Every reasonable, sensible, responsible son should be proud of a man like our king. You don't deserve him as a father. My Excuse me, me now, my prince. I stop me now, but it can be rain forever. Forever. Hey! Hey! Stop! Me. Stop now, you're hurting me now. What is it again? You are the problem. What is the problem? What have I done? You are the problem. Have you forgotten what today is? Today is Thursday. What is special about today? Don't punish that thing you call them out. Today is the last day of my father's ultimatum. And I have reliably gathered that you have done nothing yet. Why? I have done something, my prince. And that is to sit and watch you pay for your sins. You are not there. Are you mad? I'll be gentle with her by now if I were you. Greetings, my prince. Jisum, are you okay? Yes, my prince, thank you. Are you sure? Yes, my prince. Thank you. Yes, Your Majesty. This is what I want. Um, did you make this decision out of your own volition or you were influenced by someone else? I made the decision myself because it's what I want. But Queen Mother here influenced my decision too. You mean the Queen cajoled you into making this decision? No, Your Majesty. I don't mean it that way. From the first day I stepped my foot in this palace, she has shown me nothing but undiluted love, mm. care, concern. She has treated me like a mother. I know Prince Leonard hasn't shown any remorse for this awful act. But at the same time, I wouldn't want you to put the fate of your son in the hand of an ordinary maiden like me. The Queen's love, concern and care has helped me tremendously. I am healing my King. Thank you so much, my queen. Okay. You're welcome, my dear. Thank you. Um, Chisom, uh, I would like to ask you this. How about settling down with Prince Leonard? Your Majesty, I know why you had to make that decision. But every pregnancy must not end in marriage. I have no feelings for Prince Leonard. And I'm sure he doesn't have any idle of feelings for me too. Such marriage could experience hiccups or early breakup. I want to marry a man who would love me cherish me, adore me. 
he must not be from a royal family. As an orphan, my happiness and peace is very sacrosanct to me. And the importance of that can never be overemphasized. Hmm. My daughter, you've spoken wisely. I can understand everything you say. But what about the pregnancy? Of course. Prince Leonard is the father of my unborn child. Nothing will change that. I'd like to ask for a favor. It's all right. Um, go ahead. What is it? I'd like to stay away from the palace. Why? Are you not happy here? Okay, is there something you don't really like about us? We can change. No, my queen. Far from that. I am very happy here. As a matter of fact, this is my heaven on earth. For me to heal completely, I need to stay away from Prince Leonard. Please, it will help me. Please. It's alright. Uh, I've heard you, my daughter. Okay? The Queen and I will um, have a proper discussion on this. And uh, whatever we decide, I'll get back to you. Thank you so much, my king. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You may leave. Thank you. Long live your highness. Long live my queen. She's such a wise king. Very humane. Why is he with her? And that fool was even relaxed. What game is he trying to play this time? Hmm. Frederick. Frederick. Why am I even so worried? Do I even have to care what she does with her useless life? Rubbish. My chiefs and I have come, you know, over a concern of an issue that could um, lead to, you know, some problems in the kingdom. Um, Igwe, it's been eight months since your sons came back, you know, from their sojourn abroad. And up to now, we, we still have not um, been briefed on who is our heir apparent. What is the problem? Oh no, <laughs> thank you. My elders, I, I greet you. Oh no, you've spoken well. Um, first of all, I would like to commend your patience. It is true that uh, you've asked me severally who my successor will be, that is the heir to the throne. 
and uh, I asked you to give me time to be able to make the right decision. Uh, I am happy to announce that uh, I have finally made up my mind as to who will be the crown prince. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's a good development. Uh, so, um, I think Prince uh, Leonard should jet up to take up his position as crown prince of this kingdom. <laughs> um, oh no. Prince Leonard will not be the crown prince. He will. Who then becomes the crown prince? Prince Frederick is the crown prince. Frederick will be the crown prince of this kingdom, and the reason is not far fetched. Yes, uh, come to think of it, why should the first child now become the last? I mean, <laughs> I question that tradition. Why, why should the last child now be the crown prince? Have you asked yourself that question? Is it fair? Your Majesty, it has been our belief that the last born of any set of twins being the eldest, ask the younger to come out first and see things while he comes afterwards. This has been our belief and practice since time immemorial. So why make a case of this now, Your Majesty? The, the, the question you should be asking is, what is the significance of such belief? I mean, how can the last child now become the first and the first the last? Is it fair? Yes. I know where this is coming from. If Prince Leonard had been in Prince Frederick's shoes, character-wise, would you now attempt to rewrite the history? Oh no, you have said it all. Your question is apt. And as a matter of fact, that was why I am taking this stand that I'm taking right now. If Prince Leonard is in the same shoes with Prince Frederick, character-wise, is that not what you said? But is it not obvious that they are not in the same shoes, both character-wise and birthright? So, what are we talking about? Igwe. We know Prince Leonard and how he behaves. But our fathers have made him king in waiting, and there is nothing any mortal can do about it. Besides, I will not be party to anything that will negate what our forefathers have laid down. Never will I accept it, Igwe. Uh, Your Majesty. What we are saying is that as a people, we have a tradition that guides us and it must be respected. And come to think of it, have we considered how Prince Leonard will react to this, knowing who he is? You are asking how Prince Leonard will react to this. In the same vein, have you asked how Prince Frederick will react to it? No, tell me. He's the first child. Now you are considering how Prince Leonard will react without considering how he, the firstborn, will react. Is that fair? Look, I am the king. And it is my responsibility to right any wrong that is being practiced in this kingdom. From this moment, I am going to correct the wrongs and I'm starting with this one. My decision is final on this. I have spoken. Igwe. You see, it baffles me that the king, as a custodian of our culture and tradition, 
would attempt such abomination. What was he thinking? My fellow elders, if we look at it critically, we will see why the king had to take this stance. And rightly so. Prince Leonard that we know had never been an ideal candidate for the throne. We had talked about this before. Uh, and I can still remember if my memories served me well. And so, we only expressed our concerns. But that's his destiny that no one can change, not even the king. Mm. There is no doubt Prince Leonard is an arrogant and irresponsible prince. Uh, personally, I will be happy if he loses that on the throne. And many people will share my sentiment. But that shouldn't be at the detriment of our beautiful culture and heritage. That's what I'm saying. And what about the future of our kingdom? Our fathers and our forefathers had good reasons to believe that the last born of every twin should be considered the eldest. We still have the right to change things if they are no longer beneficial to us. But we should be objective about it. Um, um, you became a member of the royal cabinet not because you were the richest. Neither were you the most intelligent than every other person. But because of the procedure laid down by our forefathers and their fathers before them, you became one. Now, let's change the scenario. What if we consider it from the point that the richest and the most intelligent takes your position? Although, like I rightly said, we still have the right to change things if they are no longer beneficial to us. Except if I am no longer beneficial to this real council. Are you? No, tell me. Are you? Uh, please, no, 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 he has to tell us if he is beneficial to this royal council. Oh, no, please. Oh, no, please, my fellow elders. Please, let us not trade word over this. Please, let us not quarrel with each other because of this. Two wrongs cannot make it right. Prince Leonard is not an ideal prince. We all know that the king has no right to deny him of his birthright. What we should be doing as the elders of this kingdom is to look for a solution to resolve this problem before it turns to something ugly. I think that's what we should be doing here, Prince Tommy. I still maintain my earlier stance that the king has no right he has no right whatsoever to change the kingship succession pattern of this land. And that's final. This is all too rubbish and absolute nonsense. And I will never take it. Never! Hey, you young man. Mind your utterances. You are standing before your king. Oh, don't ask me to mind my old utterances. That you mind your actions as well. Huh? I have been sidelined and deprived of my birthright for far too long. But this time, I will take great exception to this injustice. I am the crown prince and nothing can ever change that. Really? Just really? Now let me ask you a question, Mr. Crown Prince. Are you the firstborn of the royal family? No father don't ask me that question. You are the chief custodian of our culture and tradition. And of course, you know the answer to that question. So, you have suddenly recognized our culture. You have never ceased to ridicule and violate our culture on a daily basis. The same culture that you have always reminded me of how superannuated it has become and that they needed to be changed. Same culture. The same culture that you consistently refer to as prison? Oh, father, the issue on ground here is. You have chosen Frederick over me. And now you want to give him what rightfully belongs to me. Over my dead body. You shot me out of your company. I kept quiet. But now you want to give him 
but rightfully is mine. I promise you. I will fight that with everything that is in me. Oh. Did I hear you say everything in you? Oh yes! Everything in me! Do you think you have anything in you? Look young man, you are completely empty. A vacuum, that is what you are, if you don't know. Now leave my presence! That's what you're good at. This is what you're used to. Shutting me out! But I'll tell you this. I am a lion that can never be tamed. <laughs> Lie on my foot. You call yourself a lion. Get out, idiot. I am a lion. Lion me. You are the superpower. Oh. No one is born with the positive passion. Because this power you see is incinerated by inspiration. Incinerated by inspiration. I It's power you see. It's incinerated by inspiration. Who is behind it? My king, I greet you. I beg to, to be different on this issue because our people say an elder will not stay at home and watch a goat deliver in tethers. And our forefathers believed that the last of the set of twain should be considered as the first. And that has been the practice for a very long time. And now your stance, you know, we, 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 we not only rub molds on the wisdom of our, of our forefathers, but could snowball into consequences that we may not be able to contend with, my way. Well, um, Olu, I want to thank you very much. I'm happy with the trites that you used. 
and that is exactly why I am in the particular stance that I have right now. You see, in the days of our forefathers, the last of the set of twins they had displayed reasonable wisdom and they exhibited um, qualities that uh, people can be proud of and that was why they upheld such a tradition. But things have changed. They are not as they were right now. So we must change with the change. We can't practice those old traditions anymore because obviously, like I said, things have changed. Uh, uh, Your Majesty, you see, your achievement in this kingdom as a king cannot be compared to any other. And we all love and trust your leadership capacity and competence. But this is different. Because we are talking about the belief of our people, our tradition. Please, do not be angered that you are not getting the expected support from us. Because this matter is sensitive. And uh, I hope that uh, this your initiative is not based on preference because this matter is purely traditional. Ichawa, I want to thank you. You see, there is no way I will be angry with you. So it's not a question of anger. I am a king. I am a leader and not a ruler. That is why if I have any initiative, I always try to sell it to you, my cabinet members. And I carry you along in whatever I do. Sometimes I will go down to the level of trying to sell it to my subjects before I implement any initiative. So I don't want to rule, I want to lead. The set of twins we're talking about, they are both my sons. And I love them equally. Granted, Leonard has exhibited some attitudes that are not really pleasurable that we frown at. But I still love him like my son. Okay? So it's a question of doing the right thing and not a question of preference. I hope you all understand that point. Oh, I wonder why they are talking like this, as if they don't know what the situation is. I support you, my Igwe. Thank you. Okay, listen to this. What if, in the nearest future, we are again privileged to have two male twins? One becomes irresponsible and wayward. What happens? Now, are we going to revert to the old ways or continue with this so-called new way? Oh no. If things had worked the way they're supposed to work, I don't think we'll be discussing this subject. Alright? So this discussion is uh, up now because uh, of the exigency of the day. Look, I am a king, not just a king that will uphold the culture and tradition of our people, but like a captain of a ship that will steer the ship in the right direction. All right? So it is not just enough for me to be remembered as someone or a king that was very wealthy, you know, like the encomiums that... Uh, Ichonwa poured on me earlier, uh, and that is it. No, I should also be seen as a king who has left a very good legacy. So I, I should also be seen as a king who has built a very good foundation for my successor to build on. So it is my responsibility to ensure that I leave a good successor that will not uh, jeopardize the safety of our kingdom. So that is exactly what I'm doing. I hope you do understand.
I see. Well, it looks like some people are drinking to celebrate their accomplishment. Right? You know what what are you all about? What the fuck? Did you, did you just call my name? Did you just fucking call my name? Yes, I called your name. Have you gone bonkers? Are you okay? Are you all right? Are you really bonkers? What? If I'm bogus, well, I'll tell you. Yes, I have fucking gone bogus. Hi. Who's the fucking joke on right now? Leonard. Leonard. Shut the fuck up before I put the bullet in your head. What's the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? You want to know the meaning of this? Do you want to fucking know the meaning of this? Yes, my dear. We are very fine. How is she doing? Ah, uh, she's fine. Oh, she's sleeping. I would have loved to talk to her, at least to hear her voice. Shut the fuck up before I put a bullet in your head. Is that not Prince Luna's voice I'm hearing? What's going on there? What's going on here? Leonard! Father, what does it look like to you? You tell me. What does it fucking look like to you? I miss her. Wait, wait, wait. I'll call you back. Jesus! 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 You dare bring a gun into my palace? Leonard! Stop! Nobody should fucking call my name! My son. You all have taken me for a fool for far too long in this palace. And today I say, enough is enough. Put the gun down first. We will toss it at me carefully. Please, my son. There is no something out here, mother. Unless father takes back his words and name me his successor, I will put a bullet in his head. I swear. Just, just say it. No! I don't want to lose any of my sons. Just say it immediately. Let there be peace. Please, I beg you. I will do no such thing. Leonard, if you have balls between your legs, pull that trigger. Pull it! Am I not vindicated after all? And I'm expected to hand over the future of this kingdom to this, this rascal. My love, my husband. My prince, you just have to... Shut the fuck up! Who the fuck is your prince? Who the fuck is your prince? Get out! All of you, get out! I said, I said get out! All fools! All fools! Look at that! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out. I was like, me or no? Me! Oh no. I now understand why the king doesn't want him to be the crown prince of this kingdom. That boy is mentally unstable. This is a disgrace to my personality. A disgrace to my position as your noble of this kingdom. I will not let it lie. 
What of you? I don't know. Hey. I don't know when I come to How would I know where he is? Maybe he has taken another route to his house or he has hiding somewhere in the bush. I don't know. Hey. My legs are beginning to hurt me. Can I manage? Oh no. You keep standing here. People will start asking questions. Eh? To be embarrassed. Just manage and get to the house. Eh? I got for letter now. Eh? We'll see later. That boy is mad, dude. Who said I throw that boy mad? Who you have like a lunar dog? Hey! Detective, I've done nothing. My father here tried to rob me of my inheritance and I only tried to retrieve it. That's all. Prince Leonard. Yo. Where is the gun now? Hmm? I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Prince Leonard, I would like to know where you kept the gun. He said I don't know what you're talking about. Right. Yes, Majesty. Take the detectives to Prince Leonard's room. Search everywhere, thoroughly, for the gun. Your Majesty. Officers. So, okay, sir. Yes, sir. You don't fuck my stuff, all right? What? Right. I'm trying to my father's house. Sergeant. So, Sergeant. I'm not sure you search very well. Okay, sir. Over there. Search very well. Over there, over there, sir. What is that? You mean you disrupted the peace of this palace with a toy gun? Would you have preferred it was a real gun? No. Prince Leonard. Yo. You still have to come with us to the station for questioning. Oh, what did that mean? The set gun I was accused of was a toy gun. Yes. Did you get it? I know it's a toy gun. But you harass people with it. If you must know, it is an act of terror and constitution of domestic nuisance. It is an offense on its own, punishable by law. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you must come with us to the station. Right? No, uh, uh, detective, you yes. don't need to take him. Besides, the, 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 it was a toy gun, and it didn't mean any harm. That was why he used it to probably scare people in here. It didn't hurt anyone. The seriously understand your point. But creating an undue panic in the palace with a deadly weapon. It is look or alike. It is a huge offense. And he still had to come to the station. Uh, or he can only be released if his majesty says so. Yo, man. Yo, 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 bro. Shut up! Can we talk? What is that? Yo, 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 You have to move me here. Okay. I don't know it. No way. Prince Leonard, with all due respect, with all the immunity covers that covers you. You don't want me to use force on you. What? 
Yo, come on, bro. Can you come Let's go, down? bro. Don't stop that. Let's go. Stop. Let's go. I will show you in this immediately. Trust me. Just go with them. And don't make trouble. Before they will use force on you. Detective, please take it easy on me. Please. You don't act like them. I'm the rest of them. Can you keep quiet and go with them calmly? Oh, he was just making the hand like that. Like, oh, let's go, bro. Thank you, man. Let's go. What is this? Hi. You open this night out, wow. And what are you doing here? Then you don't talk. Well, not at all. Um, they kept referring to the person as boss. Boss. They never called his name or her name. Why would... Why would someone want to kill you? And use your brother here as a cover-up? Well, to answer that question, Mom, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I mean, uh, since I regained consciousness, I've tried to put my finger around it, but no. I told you all I was innocent. I told you all I didn't do it. Yet no one believed me. Everyone called me murderer. Yes. Everyone thought you did it. Because of your questionable character. If the person had succeeded, we wouldn't be having this conversation now. Because all evidence would have been pointing towards you. 